السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہوپ سو ایوری ون از فائن اینڈ گڈ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایز یو نو دیٹ ان دا پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیڈ ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ ٹراپیکل رین فارسٹس اینڈ ایکویٹک ہیبیٹیٹ ہاؤ دا پلانٹس اینڈ دا اینیملس دوز آر فاؤنڈ ان دا ایکویٹک ہیبیٹیٹ اینڈ ٹراپیکل فارسٹ ہیبیٹیٹ ہاؤ دوز پلانٹس ہیو ایڈاپٹڈ دیم سیلفس What are the adaptations that are shown by the plants and the animals those are found in those habitats? Dear students, today I am going to discuss about the desert habitats. Deserts are, what are deserts? Deserts are areas that receive very little rainfall. Those are the areas which receive very little rainfall. Daytime temperature in summer can reach 45 degree okay daytime temperature during the summers is 40 can reach up to 45 degree centigrade there are also cold deserts such as gobi desert in china so deserts are of two types hot deserts and cold deserts okay different types of animals and different types of plants are found in the deserts and those plants and those animals have adopted themselves with the conditions that are found in the deserts animals like camel rattlesnake kangaroo rat are found in the deserts 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 are very hot and dry there are not many animals or plants found in the deserts as we have seen that in the aquatic habitat in the tropical rainforests there are a variety of animals and plants found okay but if we compare these habitats with the deserts habitats there are not much varieties of plants and animals found and the plants those are found in the deserts are mostly cactus okay deserts animals show one of the characteristic future those are not shown by the other animals which are found in other habitats that is nocturnal deserts animals are nocturnal what is nocturnal they sleep during the day and hunt at night when the desert is cool during day the temperature is too much high those animals during the day sleep and during night the temperature is low as compared to the day and the temp cool deserts are cool during the night and those animals hunt at night this is one of the characteristic future that are shown by the desertous animals and this characteristic future are not shown by other animals like aquatic animals or tropical or the animals those are found in tropical rain forests dear students deserts is a place or we can say desert is a dry place receives very small rainfall it is full of sand these places are full of sand and has very less water under it in a desert the day temperature is very high while the night temperature falls down thus there is a great temperature variation due to heat the day temperature is too much high and during night the temperature falls down thus there is a great temperature variations in deserts such as some deserts are cold and some deserts are too hot like gobi is one of the desert that are in china is cold is cold deserts have plants which need very less water like cactus euphorbia argimon these are the plants which are found in deserts those plants have very have very less water have need of very less water it also has animals which can survive without water for long days like camel snake lizards these are the animals which are found in deserts 
those animals can survive they can survive without water for long days all cacti are xerophytes first of all we should know what are xerophytes what are xerophytes plants in deserts can survive in the dry conditions plants in deserts such as cacti okay egg argimon euphorbia those are the plants which can survive in dry conditions and live with whatever little water is available to them such plants are called xerophytes okay xerophytes are the plants which are found in deserts and those plants can survive in dry conditions and live with whatever little water is available to them such plants are called zero uh, such plants are called xerophytes such as cactus is one of the xerophyte euphorbia is one of the xerophyte arg argimon is one of the xerophyte these are the plants those are the plants which are found in deserts how those plants have adopted themselves and how do plants and the animals which are found in deserts have adopted themselves in the habitat dear students this is the diagram of cactus okay how those plants or how the cactus have adopted themselves in desert habitats adaptations for desert habitats the plants in deserts have made modifications in their body the plants which are found in deserts have made modification in their bodies in such a way that they can store water in their body in such a way they made such a modifications in their body so that they can store water in their body so that those plants which are found in the deserts can store water in their body and can survive and those plants can survive for long without water if there is not rainfall for long time those plants survive can survive because they have the ability they have adopted themselves for storing the water okay plants in deserts have long penetrating roots which can absorb from the depths of earth those plants have large penetrating those plants have large penetrating roots which can absorb water from depths of the earth or we can say deserts plants have desert plants have very deep roots the desert plants have very deep roots so that they can access water from greater depths they have very deep roots so that those plants which are found in the deserts can access water from greater depths this is one of the adaptation shown by the desert plants or we can say one of the adaptation shown by the xerophytes plants like cactus this is cactus plants like one of the species of cactus this is one of the species of the cactus plants like cactus have their leaves modified at some points as you can see in the figure here in the structure here these are the small spines these are actually leaves but these leaves have modified themselves as spines to prevent the water loss dear students as i have already told you that about transpiration transpiration is the loss of water through the stomata the stomata are small pores on the surface of the leaves but here the these leaves have modified themselves into spines plants like cactus have their leaves modified as spines to prevent the loss water loss this is the one of the adaptation shown by the uh, desert plants or we can say desert uh, xerophytes second the stem is thick and fleshy the stems those are thick and fleshy as water is stored in the stems due to this adaptation they store water in their stems and the stems in them is thick and fleshy 
one more characteristic feature or we can say one more adaptation that are shown by the uh, those desert plants or we can say des uh, xerophytes sitem is green the sitem is green as it has functions like leaves as it has to function like leaves as we know that plants are autotrophs whether the plants are found in deserts whether the plants are aquatic whether the plants are found in tropical rainforests whether the plants are found in temperate regions all plants are autotrophs they have to prepare their own food in cactus stem is green stem is green as it has to function like leaves and it has to prepare their own food it has to prepare food for the plant or we can say the stem is green because it has to function like leaves and manufacture food for the plant the stems of the cactus have a thick vexico vexy coating the stems of the cactus have a thick those stems have a thick waxy coating to prevent the loss of water from the stem first i have told you that the leaves these are modified into spines so the water loss is less there is no water loss there is no transpiration second the stems have a waxy layer around okay the stems have a waxy layer around so that to so that this waxy layer prevents loss of water from the stem this waxy layer prevents the loss of the water from the stem these are the adaptations which are shown by the aquatic plants they are, these are the sorry these are the adaptations which are shown by the plants found in deserts okay first spines instead of leaves those who spines leaves are not present because the water available to these plants is wet very less and those leaves those are modified into spines so that a water loss is there is no water loss second small surface area minimizes the area surface area of those plants is small so that minimizes evaporation stems they can store water and they have wide separate roots they have wide separate roots or we can say plants in deserts have long penetrating roots which can absorb water from depths of the earth or we can say that deserts plants have very deep roots the plants have very deep roots so that they can access water from greater depths third the stem is thick and fleshy and water the stems those are found they are thick and fleshy and thick and fleshy as water is stored in those stems fourth the stem is green in color as its function is like leaves and it has to function like leaves that as we know that leaves the function of the leaves there due due to presence of chlorophyll in the leaves or we can say in the green parts of the plant they can prepare their own food same here the stem in those cactus are green they have to function like leaves they have to prepare the food food they have to prepare their own food one more adaptation that is shown by those desert plants are the stems of the cactus have a thick waxy coating the stems of the cactus have a thick waxy coating to prevent loss of water from the stem to prevent loss of the water from the stem examples of those desert plants are cactus euphorbia and agro money 